Have you guys heard of Aldi? Yeah. The grocery store? Oh, yeah. I was thinking yeah. of the yeah. shoe yeah. company. No, that's Aldo. They're not They're not around here, but they're The more, shoe store is Aldo, yes. Where it would, on some the east? Some in Inglewood, some in the city. Yeah. I, I, I grew up with Aldi. Like, they were always in the Midwest. Oh, oh so they're moving out to California now. You guys ever been to a Piggly Wiggly's? <laughs> no. Yeah. That's a grocery store. Is it really? Yeah, sounds yeah, cute as fuck. That, that does sound cute. Have you ever been so, to a Ding Hao? Ding Hao. Cool. Okay, cool. I got um, good sandwiches there. Yeah. Aldi's UK <laughs> division. So this is for the UK division. They came up with this campaign to demonstrate the spirit of in it togetherness. So they came up with this whole challenge that they signed this influencer up for where they were challenging her to feed her family for a week on 25 British pounds, which is about 33 US dollars um, of groceries. And they chose the hashtag, uh -oh. Aldi Porous Day Challenge. Why would they do that? Oh my God. Because they are saying that people tend to spend too much money over the holidays. And so Frugal they, challenge, and so they use have, a different word. That, that's right that's where they fucked up. Broke ass challenge. A lot of people need to tighten broke. their budgets in the month of January, and so they wanted this campaign to demonstrate like how you know, people can still feed their family by shopping at Aldi through the poorest day of the year until payday. And so they signed Who up- Who chose this hashtag? The influencer? No. no. Like 35 people at a fucking marketing firm of dumb fucks who know nothing. Yeah. That's what blows my We're mind. We're making over 150,000. It blows my mind that these marketing agencies, yeah. these guys all go to school, yep. they do this shit, and they come out with dumb ass fucking things That's like this. That's the problem though. They go to fucking, <sighs> they go to some college, get some degree for this shit, and they have no idea how to fucking market anything. Going to college for marketing is not the same as an understanding marketing. Like. Like every fucking, I've seen so many washout YouTubers become some social media fucking marketing person. And I'm like, you never even built an audience on YouTube. You don't even know how the fuck to do it. But that's who gets hired by these companies. Cause they're like, I'm bullshitting right now and I built a fucking audience of nobody cares. I saw one of those. There's so many of them, you have no idea. <laughs> exactly it would make about. you cringe and throw up at the same time. <laughs> these people are clearing six figure salaries at some company having never built a YouTube audience and just yep. wiping out of the medium. It's yeah. nuts. So they recruited this fashion influencer named Natalie Lee, who uh, has this blog, and so she joined the challenge. And so this is her post. This is what the photo looks like. To hear, would you like to read the caption? Sure. Aldi has challenged me to feed my family of four, Jesus, for a whole week, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for 25 pounds to see if it's possible. 25 pounds for a whole week? That's possible. Yeah. To see yeah. if it's possible. January, January is probably the hardest month of the year financially for most people. So I'm interested to see if I can feed my family with a well-balanced and nutritious week's worth, I mean, nutritious week's food shop. What do you think? Follow along on my stories to see how I get on. Family of four with with like thirty carbs. You could do rice, lots of rice and beans. And you beans, can do it. and you could do sketty. Yep, with marinara. Guys, wow. the most expensive thing will be like Protein. fresh meat. Yeah, yeah meats so, and then produce. This post also had originally the that hashtag I mentioned, and so immediately she just got started getting a whole bunch. Like the first comment that. You could kind of see here, it says, totally distasteful and completely out of touch. What's worse are the disingenuous replies to comments. To those in support, thanks, it's a great challenge. And to those criticizing, I can't read the rest. But people were so upset, they're like, what the fuck? Like my me, like I am poor. Like I do have to do this on a daily. I'm not some fucking challenge. Like mm. how out of touch are you from reality? This is insane. But what if she gives some pretty good strategy that that person could be like, oh shit, I never thought of that. <laughs> or what if they actually got a poor influencer to do it? That would have been better. Mm. Well, it's tough, right? Cause I like, okay, so I watched this YouTube channel. I like this guy, his name's The Wolf Pit. And he always reviews frozen food. And he's like, I can't believe this sucks every time. <laughs> <laughs> that but, sounds familiar. Yeah, I've talked about it before, I think. Uh, but. He does this thing now where he tries to make a very low cost meal yeah. for families who are struggling. And so he's like, yo, I made this whole dish for like $5.85 awesome. that can feed you for a fucking week or whatever. And it's always like the carbs and starches and shit. That's tight. But you could look at that and go like, wait, like he's making money off of like people like 
who are poor who are gonna watch this and try to make the recipes. Like, it gets really cynical after a certain amount. Like, where you can just, like what they're saying is like, yo, you can have, like be cheap about shopping for shit. You don't have to just buy fucking shit. Cause how many people just throw a fucking pack of ginger ale in their cart and they don't need it? That's what I was taking from it. I think it's more about the attitude. Like there is a way to like yeah, they maximize just did it. did it so bad. But yeah, it's, it's maybe the terminology. Or Definitely the terminology. The poorest. That's where they fucked yeah, up yeah. the hardest because yeah. people that's all that people were latching on to too. They were mm -hmm. like poor the fuck like they said um, there was this other one They live poor on a daily basis that this isn't a trend for them living on 25 pounds is a reality to 8.4 million working adults in this country I don't think they're saying it's a trend though. I think that they're really legitimately trying to try right. it out It's right. the fact that it's like the I get it tact wise. Yeah. I understand but dude It's like understanding people's intentions is so important like I don't know. Because if it was maybe hashtag best bang for the buck challenge or something. Yeah, or or no how to stretch a dollar challenge. Literally no anything else other than four. Shit. Like I said, a dumb fuck marketing firm came up with that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But the intention, I, I totally think is dope. This other one uh, told BuzzFeed, because that's the article I have. I would be BuzzFeed. Yeah. Fucking sensitive ass bitches. <laughs> yeah, they said Aldi have basically just offended their entire customer base. Their demographic isn't middle class professionals. Uh, it's the poor. So what they're saying is that this challenge was for the middle class and upper. That's like, hey guys, let's let's try to be like poor people so and do a, a challenge for, for one a week. week. Well, is this that... is the rest of her quote. So then she says, it suggests poor people aren't trying hard enough to budget. They can get all the groceries they will ever need from Aldi for 25 pounds. So what are they moaning for? It perpetuates the myth that poor people aren't trying hard enough. That's no, that's it's point. just a fucking it's just a helper thing, dude. I, look, I get it. They're not trying to go, yo, poor people, you're not trying hard enough. Yeah. Holy fuck, how cynical do you have to be? I didn't even read that. that. I, I took it as like, uh -huh. hey guys, let's try to save money. I was like, wow, a grocery that. store that's trying to get you to save money? That's fucking crazy because they want you to spend more. There was a YouTuber. What I saw was them going like, hey, did you ever consider us? Because we're pretty reasonably priced. There's a YouTuber who just camped outside in a U-Haul in negative 30 fucking degree weather in like Minnesota or some shit. And he got like, U-Haul said like, yo, fuck you, don't use our shit anymore. But like, you could easily say like, yo, there are people who are actually fucking homeless and like who live in vans and like you're just like exploring that. But meanwhile, you have a million subs on YouTube. But it's like, he's just like fucking showing people like how crazy this shit yeah. is and like how hard it is and like yeah. how much this sucks. Like if anything, it's not, it's not a glorification. People are yeah. fucking cynical, man, damn. And I say that as a cynical person. This other image that they included was someone's IG post of this like screenshot, which looks like it's from Wikipedia and it's about poverty porn, also known as development porn, famine porn, or stereotype porn, has been defined as any type of media, be it writ written, photographed, or filmed, which exploits the pores Poor's condition in order to generate the necessary sympathy for selling newspapers or increasing charitable donations or support for a given cause. It also suggests that the viewer of the exploited protagonist is motivated by gratification of base instincts. So <coughs> it's also a term of criticism applied to films which objectify people in poverty for the sake of entertaining a privileged audience. So what's extreme couponing then? Because that's how I see this. Every time I see how to fucking get a deal, I'm like, ooh. That's frugal. I think that's just being frugal. I know a billionaire that loves discounts. Yeah, who he's doesn't? A, he's a billionaire, bro. He's only getting stay rich by spending like, all that money. He can't wait for a discount on camera equipment. He's like, oh my God, I got this lens for 30% off. And I'm like, what the fuck? You have all the money in the world. Doesn't matter. But you, for them, it's a, it's a game. It's like some uh -huh. people love saving money because it's a challenge. If you want to go there, dude, I just saw some fucking dissertation video on YouTube where a guy talks about why Horrible Bosses is, is fucked up the movie Horrible Bosses is fucked oh up. Oh my god. Because in the movie, Jennifer Aniston is sexually assaulting Charlie Day. Yep. And I'm like, that's what's funny about it, is that she's hotter than fuck and he's saying no. That's all. That's all. And, and like- The irony. But, but, right, the yeah. irony of that. And people are like, this is fucked up. There's so many double standards and all this shit. Like, if a guy did that, all this shit. And I'm like, dude, no. What the inclination is is that guys are more down usually to fuck. Usually. Not all the time. Right. No. And yes, guys get- raped and all this other stuff. I know, that's not what the movie's talking about. Guys don't get raped, it doesn't matter. What if the hottest woman, one of the hottest women on earth, even at fucking 45, 50, 
was trying to suck your dick and you're like, no thanks, I, I'm a doctor. Like that's all, that's yeah. the laugh, like that's why people are laughing. But if you wanna go there and talk about how horrible everything is and like, oh, nah, 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 nah. It, everything's yeah. so heavy, everything's so heavy. I think you can find a problem with anything somebody tries right. to. That's true. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like you have to just make sure that what you're trying to get across uh, has the right tone. Because I feel, I feel like there's a way to say any and everything. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, Happy New Year. What the fuck do you mean, happy? I've right. been happy. <laughs> yeah. I've been happy. Do I not look happy? Or like, hey, I heard you guys talking on Jakey News about poor people. Um, and about how how people are hungry. What kind of car do you drive? Do you really need that car to drive? Like, I not, do. I'm not even kidding. Like shit like that. This is where all this. Leads they have to, to be. like pull from something. To Anything get, to just fucking again. take a shit on you, so that you're the one who's shit on now for talking about it. True. Damn, Damn that's dude, you rough. Can't, you can't be you can't be giving. Yeah. You can't discuss a topic. You can't even do a challenge anymore. Yeah. By the way, 22.5. That's how much my car was. 22.5. And uh, I got. I got two and a half off of it because I sold my truck. I don't so. even own my car, bitches. There you go, leasing. I lease that bitch. Yep. Which is the smart thing to do if you're gonna get luxury, always lease, never buy. Because it depreciates. Depreciates. And I'm gonna get bored of it in three years anyway, and it's 100% ride off. And it's 100% genuine leather as well. Yep. Oh yeah, and it's got seat warmers. Oh, because when I'm driving and I'm thinking about poverty, I like to keep my ass warm. Yeah. <laughs>